Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Robert Irvin's Fit Crunch. These are high protein baked bars. I have the peanut butter, the chocolate peanut butter. And the peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> uh, the very large uh, bar was, uh, this was bought, all, um, actually all of these were bought through walmart.com. But they're not. They didn't come through. Walmart. They didn't come from Walmart. They came through a second a seller, third a third third party. Thank you, a third party on Walmart.com. Uh, so they're probably more expensive. But this, after you divide it out with all the bars that came with it, was three dollars seventeen cents. It is a uh, eighty-eight gram bar. It's three point ten ounces. This is a big boy. And then the other two were $3 each. And they're 46 grams and 1.62 ounces. Yes. So almost half. Yes. So we're going to be trying just the peanut butter first. It says it is a six layer baked bar made with whey proteins. Uh, these are made in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. FitCrunch.com. Tell you what, they stay good for a really long time. Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, you heard about your bunker food. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, this bar, 88 grams, is 380 calories. That's almost like a meal replacement. I don't know if it is a meal replacement. I'm not saying you shouldn't replace your meal, but I mean, it's a lot of enough calories and protein. To almost it, has, it has 30 grams of protein, which a lot of the protein drinks you see yeah. are 30 grams of protein. Yeah. Uh, 30 grams of protein, 6 grams of sugar, and gluten-free. So, yeah, that's, that's huge. Do you want to hold that up? Covered with chocolate. So, I will tell you, I will tell you that we have reviewed um, the peanut butter and the peanut butter and jelly. We have not reviewed, uh, as far as I can tell, the chocolate peanut butter before. The reason we're reviewing them together, first of all, is so we can compare them all. And the reason we're reviewing them again is because it's been so long that they may have changed the formula a little bit. You never know. The peanut butter, we have not had this peanut butter bar in nine years. So there's no telling what that video looks like. If you <laughs> look it up on the channel, and there's no telling what we videos are made a little different. What we <laughs> look like, what the bar look like, how we were doing things, there's no telling. So we had the peanut butter nine years ago. We had the peanut butter and jelly two years ago. So it is a nice uh, layered bar. That mm -hmm. kind of looks like the layer in a uh, Milky Way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not that soft. It's a lot to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell you what, it's 300 and some calories, but you're gonna feel like you ate something. Mm-hmm. There's a touch of salt in there too. I mean, just a little bit. The um so that's just peanut butter chocolate. Yeah, just peanut butter. Um I like it. The when I was cutting through it, that bottom part was really, really tough to cut through, but it's not bad to eat. I was worried it was gonna be really tough and hard. It's not, I mean it's it's chewy, you're chewing it. But it's not like really dry and dense or anything like that. Um, now, I, I cannot go by what I said nine years ago at yeah, all. Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of times passed, and I've had a lot of protein bars since we've started this channel. Mm -hmm. Hadn't had protein bars before that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this they were all new to me. I can tell you as of today, right now, I love that. That's and I could eat it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's very I think it's um, delicious. It's the very, peanut butter is very sweet. It's very peanutty. Yes. Then you really get the peanuts. You and get I like peanuts the and peanut butter, and I like how long it takes you to chew it up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it would take you a while to eat that. Yes, it would. It really um, is. I, I, I think it's great. I buy it all the time. I have no problem with it at all. I bet you, if I had to guess, nine years ago, who knows if I li even liked it or not? Well, I like it that because we hadn't had them before. We hadn't had. Right. There's, well, there was nothing to judge it by. We hadn't had so many. Mm -hmm. This has no protein flavor Yeah, I don't at all. get any of that protein no. flavor. 
I would think this would not be a meal replacement because there's none of the vitamins and nutrients that you need to really survive. <laughs> well, it you're, gives you proteins and calories. If you eat that though, you'll survive. Trust me, you, uh, you yeah. could eat those. You would survive. survive. I'm saying though, you're you, gonna live. It, it's not gonna, it's not gonna replace a full actual meal because there's nothing else in it. This is the chocolate peanut butter, so it'll be interesting to to taste. I think for them to say it's a meal replacement, though, it has to have. Certain it has to have certain things, yes. right? Trust me, you'll live if you eat those, though. So that one, that bar, the the the, the just the peanut butter was 30 grams of protein. This uh, chocolate peanut butter has 16 grams of protein. But it's half the size. The uh, peanut butter bar had six grams of sugar. This one has three grams of sugar. And it's, really not, it's just a thinner, it almost looks like just a thinner version of the other one. Huh? The big bar was 380 calories. This is 190 calories. I know, so it's like, is, it, is this is it the, the same? exact same thing? But why call one chocolate peanut butter and call one peanut butter? I tell you what, I don't know why. It could be because maybe the nuggets a little thinner. I get a little bit more of that protein bar. I did too. Time. And I honestly, I think it's supposed to be the exact same bar. It probably is, but the whatever the thickness of the protein part is, I there's, agree. There's it seems to be more of it or milk contained, or maybe maybe there's not enough other stuff to override that protein. That's bar what that I'm way. thinking because the, the other one with it being just so big and bulky, the size. You did not get any mm -hmm. protein whatsoever. No, I mean, it definitely has a texture of a protein bar, but as mm -hmm. far as the flavor, you really would have never know. And the first thing I noticed about this protein one bar. was you absolutely mm -hmm. do get the protein. Yeah. So It's not bad, but just know that you can't taste it. But do I think these are supposed to be identical? I think they, they really, sure like I think they are. They're even the same color and everything. Yeah, I think they are, but I don't understand why I call one chocolate and one call one peanut butter. Um, I would absolutely pick the peanut butter, the bigger one, though, because you mm -hmm. don't taste the protein. I don't want to taste the protein. No, no, that's not why you're protein bar. No. I don't eat protein bar. Well, but. yeah, we don't eat them anyway, but uh, but we do prefer the ones that where they've covered it up. Yeah. Uh, that's always a plus. Yeah, I can't imagine drinking, like, these shakes with protein powder in them. Me, personally, I can't imagine drinking them. I would have to have something to really cover up the flavor. That is a, a peanut butter colored bar. I mud. It smells good. This it smells fruity. Oh. Mm -hmm. It smells the package itself mm. smells really good. 16 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 210 calories, gluten free. Nice. That's what it looks like in the Tanny will have a close up of all these at the end, by the way. As always. Mm hmm Don't see a lot of jelly. I mean I'm not seeing that in the ingredients. Oh, maybe it's on down here under all that other stuff. Well Great the, juice extract. Found it. The picture didn't it show a layer of like a mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it kind of a slightly different color layer to that? The top? Mm-hmm. I guess that's supposed to be the jelly layer. It doesn't look like it looks. It like doesn't it. look as purple. That one's okay, but once again, I can taste a little bit of that bar coming through. The protein. Mm -hmm. The jelly's nice. It has just a great flavor. Mm -hmm. You definitely taste it though. Mm -hmm. You definitely taste the jelly flavor. So it's supposed to be peanut butter and jelly. You get the jelly. Yeah. Because sometimes it's so hidden, it's like. Yeah. Where is it? This time it's not. But um, the peanut and the peanut butter is a lot more diminished too because you're really, the jelly's the number one mm -hmm. and the peanut butter is kind of secondary. I'm still not getting the level of protein that I got in the chocolate peanut butter. No, it's not as strong, but it's still there. 
Um, a little. It's not as bad for yeah. me. Um, my favorite one is going to be uh, just the, the peanut butter. The big one. And the big one, yeah. I think you're going to have to get it in this big one. At least that was the I mean, experience anything, we both had. If you want to lower your calories, just cut it in half. Yeah, cut it in half, put one in a Ziploc bag, Zip bag, leave it at home, yeah. and only take the other one with you. And mm -hmm. you can only eat what you take with you, right? Right. Uh, so, so, but... Uh, I would get the big yeah. one, then I would get the peanut butter and jelly. I probably wouldn't get the other, the small I agree with you completely. I just wouldn't get it at all again. Yeah. Because um, the peanut butter and jelly does have a little bit of bar flavor for me, but it's, I mean, the protein flavor, but it's not really strong right but honestly i'm gonna buy my favorite all the time so i'm just gonna stick with this yeah, one you can't get all it. the time and yeah <laughs> unless it, you can't get it uh then go to walmart and order it through a third <laughs> through, through a third party you're gonna pay a lot more for them though so uh but i hope you enjoyed the video you'll have to tell us if you've had these three which one's your favorite of the three and thanks for watching